All these big stars, not one of them is in the picture. Now this, this is truly a big name. <laughs> now that's more nicer. I wasn't here. <laughs> now, you'll pay attention. Those are the people that made the picture. What kind of picture did they make? It's frightening. Is it a picture about frightening? I'm scared. I mean, really gut-level scared. Is it a gut-level scared picture? What would make young, nice college boys talk like this? You know, that's us pretty soon. Working stiffs. Ha! Ah, so that's what they're afraid of, going to work. Oh, come on, Steve. Don't even talk like that. God couldn't be that cruel. Why not? He did it to them, didn't he? Maybe they sinned. Why oh, haven't you? Well, a little sex, a little pot. Well, just sins of the flesh, not of the spirit. God's a big man. He wouldn't nitpick. You could have calling a nitpicker. When they start blaming you-know-who, that's Scared. It's bigger than God. What is? The system. The system says you work. Hey, that's us pretty soon. Will you stop saying that? We who are about to graduate salute you. That's the trouble with college. Someday it's over. All the good times, no more. Hey, Larry, you want to see something? You want to see how you're going to die? Would, uh, would you like to uh, graduate from this? <laughs> That's going to be the toughest part about graduating. Losing Sylvia. Oh, yeah, man. I mean, it'll be like getting a divorce. We've had it for three years. We'll never find anyone like her again. A nympho who likes to cook and clean house. Wow. I don't want to graduate. I don't want to go to work. And I don't want to lose Sylvia. So, this is the problem. How not to go out into the world. How not to work. How not to lose the pretty little lady. I tell you, to figure this out, you need a college education.
What'll I do out in the world? Work. At what? I'll have a degree in business administration. What do I know about business? I was taught by a man who went bankrupt three times. Postgraduate work. Oh, yeah. Postgraduate work? You want me to pay for another year in college? I, I've carried you for 20 years, you bum. I never wanted you in the first place. Your mother thought it would be nice having a baby toddling around the house. I tried to tell her it would become a money-eating monster would consume us. I'll never forgive science for not inventing the pill before you were born. Do you know what I've blown on you? Forty grand! I'd cut you out of my will if I had anything left to give away. How's about starting to pay me back some of that forty grand? Show me how. Leave me your insurance. I gotta do postgraduate work. A diploma isn't enough today. You gotta be an expert. It's a world of specialists. Now, Mom, that is not what I would call a sophisticated answer. What'd she say? She said I was already a specialist in how to screw my parents. Mom. Ah, this is the good life. I'm not gonna give it up. We plant some bombs, they go off during finals. Blow up the university? It's a crime of passion. We loved it too much to lose it. <clears throat> the four, uh, happiest years of our lives. Why'd they have to end so soon? We've got nothing to look forward to. And Sylvia, what happens to her when we graduate? I guess she goes back to Iowa and marries her fiancé. I just don't see her making a minister happy. There's got to be a way we can stay. I don't want to graduate. I want to be in college forever. Anybody home? Hi, Arno. Hi, Hi Arno. Arno. How you doing? How are you? Hi, fellas. Eating, huh? Mm -hmm. Sure am. Yeah. Yeah. Sylvia, make all this? Mm. Everything but the wine. Where is Sylvia? I brought her some oh, flowers. Oh, sweet. Sylvia, your admirer brought you some flowers. Sylvia, hey, Sylvia, would you like to go to see a movie on Friday? And if you can't go Friday, how about Saturday? Uh, Sunday? It's a re-release. Everything you always wanted to know about sex, but were afraid to ask. Uh, she's busy, aren't we? Oh, come on, fellas. Give me a break. I don't want to be the only guy to graduate a virgin. Well, you didn't go to college. You just get laid. Yes, I did. It's been four years of hell. Easy, Arnold. Look at my glasses. I had 20-20 vision when I came here. I'm going blind. And do you know why? Why don't you get yourself a hooker? Because I love Sylvia. And I don't want to cheat on her. Don't you understand? I love Sylvia. I want to marry her. I even bought her a ring. Hey, that's a beautiful ring. Oh, wow. Hey, Sylvia, Arnold bought you a really beautiful ring. Put it on, put it on. I love you, Sylvia. I'm madly, desperately in love with you. That means you're engaged, Arnold. Hey, can I move in with you now? I don't know. Not now. Sylvia means a lot to us. We want to make sure that you'll take good care of her after we're gone. Gone? Uh, graduate. Oh, that's right. I forgot. You'll all be leaving. Won't you? No. Professor Hegner's asked me to stay on and help him with his experiments. He says I'm the only human he trusts. Well, how's he going to pay you? With the money from the grants he gets. Oh, come on, fellas. Let me move in with you, huh? No, Arnold. No, 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 no. Maybe we will, Arnold. Maybe we will. Grants? Grants? What grants, Arnold? From all the foundations. They keep sending him letters asking if he needs money for any new experiments. Well, they'd give Professor Hegner a grant for any experiment he suggested, wouldn't they? Sure, he's a three-time Nobel Prize winner. And nobody ever sees Professor Hegner. He's a total recluse. Well, that's because he hates the human race. He likes me because I remind him of an insect. He loves insects. He said that if I had six legs, he'd adopt me. He has no phone. Oh, he hates them. What about his mail? 
He never opens it. I read it for him. But some letters need answers. Oh, I write them. He just signs his name to it. You can write any letter you want and he'll sign his name to it? Sure. You're his only contact with the outside world. Yeah. That polluted, greedy, corrupt outside world which we want to escape also. Uh, I don't understand. Arnold, how would you like to come here every night? And in that guest bedroom up there, your fiance, Sylvia, would be waiting in bed just for you. Oh, my God. Waiting to satisfy your carnal insect lust. Everything? You mean all the way? With Sylvia, all the way is a long, long trip. Yeah, a long, long trip. I'm ready. I've been packed for four years. Gentlemen, bring Sylvia's lover a typewriter and a pen. Having won three Nobel Prizes in studying the sex life of insects, I turn my final sex experiment to humans, the female of our fascinating species. We call the experiment the vaginal connection. To determine the effect of female liberation on today's college girl, I shall call the study Sex and the Liberated College Girl. Does sexual freedom mean sexual liberation? Uh, good question. What sexual doors has the college girl opened that have been closed for years? We want to walk through those doors with them. My expenses paid each female volunteer $20 per hour should come to $50,000. Please make the check payable to my associate, the Phantom Research Corporation. Who's Phantom Research? Who's Phantom Research? We are. Am awaiting your immediate reply. You, know, you get Professor Hagner to sign it. You send it to the foundation that'll give us the quickest grant with the least questions, okay? But that's forgery. What forgery? The professor's going to sign it, isn't he? Then it's misrepresentation. What misrepresentation? We are going to conduct an experiment, aren't we? Well, the Foundation will expect a report. It's fraud. What fraud? They will get a report, won't they? But you'll be paying the girls. That's prostitution. Prostitution is for profit. This is for posterity. Oh, well, I don't know. Forget it. Born a virgin, die a virgin. I'll get your engagement ring. Sylvia. No, wait. Sylvia. I didn't say I wouldn't do it. Oh, God. This could have been yours. Mine? Her golden arms caress your scrawny body. Yeah. Her hot lips kiss your withered parts. Oh, yeah. Her throbbing legs locked around your puny ass. Jeez, I think I'm gonna faint. Well, do you want her or don't you? I want her, I want her. Good morning, Professor. Ah, Arnold. Arnold, my human friend. Come, come, look at the world of tomorrow. What do you see, my little Caucasian cow like? A mosquito. Yes. That is a mosquito. That is a mosquito. This is super mosquito. Soon I will breed his great grandson, the ultimate mosquito. He will be immune from all insecticides, able to survive in freezing cold and blistering heat. But why? Why? Because when man destroys himself, he will survive. He and the other insects. With no language, no uniforms, no religion. They will live in peace. Oh, Arnold. Oh, you would have made a beautiful grasshopper. <laughs> he will kill only for food. Live only for sex. Food and sex, life and death. Nature balanced. What about love? Love? What is love? It's like God. A pretty word that man uses as an excuse to commit ugly deeds. The mosquito is more honorable than the human. He will not talk of love when he is thinking of sex. The male sees the 
female, her back is turned to him. He creeps up behind her. He mounts her. Wow. He does it just like we do. Ah, with one exception. I have bred him to be sexually superior. He can have sex for what in human terms would be six or seven hours. Six or seven hours? Ah. And look closer. Uh, does he seem unhappy? Uh, it's the first time I've seen a mosquito smile. Soon I will have a superior species. He will be called the Hegna mosquito. My final revenge on man will be the insect. Outlives him. Ah. Uh, you got a lot of mail this morning, Professor. Destroy it. I do not wish to communicate with the human race. There's a letter here that really needs your signature. My signature. Civilization. Ooh. We are so unsure of who we are, we have to give ourselves names. I write Sigmund. Egna, on a piece of paper. I do not know what I have signed. They do not know it is I who have signed it. The name becomes the man himself. Idiot! $50,000 for a study about sex and the liberated college girl. Could have uh, great social significance. How can you say no to a three-time Nobel Prize winner? I consider it an honor that the professor has asked us for the money. Miss Creighton. I feel my father, who created the Creighton Foundation, would be pleased to have his name connected with this study. What is the Phantom Research Corporation? Settlement. Professor Higner is over 70 years old. Now, to conduct a sex study, he would obviously need associates. Men who might not want to have their names made public. Hence, the name Phantom. I move that before then, it's as Professor Hegner asks another foundation for the necessary funds, we give it to him. All in favor, say aye. Aye. Opposed? So moved. Benjamin Adler, Vice President. Yes. Alan Darby, nice to meet, sir. Second Vice President. And Lawrence Bronson, Secretary Treasurer. Yes, sir. And Professor Sigmund Hegner is Chairman of the Board. The Creighton Foundation is backing the study. We have handled the funds for Professor Hegner's other. Uh, it's precisely why we picked 13 Colonies Bank. Well, that and the fact that you pay the lowest interest and offer no free services. We admire your slogan, this is a bank, not a gift shop. We are proud to be associated once again with Professor Hegner and the Phantom Corporation. That's an odd name. In what way, sir? Phantom means apparition, something that doesn't exist. I guess you could say that we are bankers to a corporation that <laughs> really isn't there. I guess you could say that, sir. Hang on, 
coming, Arno. We're coming. Steady there, fella. Arno, you shouldn't try to walk so soon afterward. Diana and her burning inner city. I think I put out all our fires. Vitamins, minerals, iron, niacin, calcium. I flung open her pearly gates. I think I knocked them off their hinges. Here you are, Arnold. It's called survival soup. After Sylvia, you must always have some of this soup. It's the only known antidote. It's an energy transfusion. Uh, vitamin B12, Arnold. We don't want to lose you. I'm her master. She's my slave. Well, I think that covers everything. Uh, name, address, and phone number. Age, vital statistics, availability. Sexual experiences described in detail. Favorite positions described in detail. Apparitions, fantasies described in detail. We'll print up uh, four or five hundred to start with. Ben, you got the ad. Got it. Uh, you gotta give Arnold credit. Yeah, the little fella's hanging in there. Yeah, that's good. Real good. We'll place the ad in the university newspaper and the courier. Upstairs, one bedroom. Four girls, four guys. The light's out. There could be a mistake. We rent a house with two bedrooms. Three, four, right. <laughs> Professor, I didn't get much sleep last night. <laughs> a sexual giant. No longer satisfied with one female, now he needs three or four. See? See how he goes from the back of one right on to the next one? Sex without stop. Without stop? Yeah. Doesn't he hurt? Oh, oh I, I have prepared this special ointment. I, I put a little drop in here. He puts it on. Oh, no pain. Just pleasure. Enjoy yourself, my little six-legged lover. You are creating your great-great-grandson, the immortal insect. Mm. How about this? Attention college girls, Professor Sigmund Hegner, Nobel Prize winner in association with Phantom Research, announces a new controlled study on the sex life of the liberated college girl. If it's controlled, it wouldn't be your sex life. Funny. Female students between 18 and 21 are needed to volunteer. Uncle Sam wants you. Uncle Sam once tried to get me. Luckily, my Aunt Sarah came home. Mm. We're seeking girls with a historical social consciousness concerning human behavior patterns. What does that mean? Will you screw? I read that volunteers were getting paid $20 an hour. That's for me. Is it? Sure. I'm majoring in business. I'll be getting paid $20 an hour for something I've been giving away for nothing. Isn't that good business? Really? Okay, I've been standing this line over an hour. I'm sorry. We are a little jammed up inside, so if you'll just start filling these out right now, we'll save a little time. And remember, we also need a photograph. Thank you, ladies. Thank you. Thank you. Just be patient. We'll get you all sooner or later. Thank you. Excuse me. Are you in college? No. Does that mean I won't be able to volunteer? Oh, no, my little turtle dove. You volunteer along with all the rest of them. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Man, I've never waited in line this long to get laid before. No one ever offered you $20 before. You never know. Very good. 
Steve. Uh, we're we're good. good. Uh, hey, I tried to make this one a year ago. She said she couldn't. Her father was a rabbi. Screwing is for Arabs. Knowledge is for Jews. So my father always said. That's why he has a Syrian mistress. Favorite position, the sandwich between a mattress and a man. How many urgents do we have? Uh, about uh, two dozen. And it's just the beginning. You struck gold. Yeah, because we've taken away the guilt factor. They're getting laid for the record. We've made passion a public service. They'll be proud to say they were part of it. Uh, gee, there's Arnold. <laughs> Don't let go, Arnie. He's off. Get the soup on. You're a tiger, Arnold. I just hope she can hold up. I'm honored to be in the same room with you. Yes, I do not seek compliments. One of the truly great scientists. The world opinion does not interest me. Winner of three Nobel Prizes. Ah, useless medal. Should have been four. I was cheated. I threw away all of my Swedish insects. Now, will you please go? I'm Elizabeth Creighton, head of the Creighton Foundation. We've given you a grant for your experiment. I get so many, I, I can't remember one from another. We gave you $50,000. You give me pieces of paper. I give you knowledge. The greatest sexual experiment ever attempted. Yes, now that, that's what I want to talk about, the experiment. Uh, by myself, I will accomplish with sex what the world thought was impossible. By yourself? Won't you have help? Oh, some help, yes. But if you want something done right, you do it yourself. Won't that be a terrible strain? I mean, you're not a young man. I'm getting older. I'm still good for five, six hours a day. Five or six hours? Uh, if I can get in a little nap, I can go for seven, eight hours. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, when I was young, I could go two, three days without sleeping. Incredible. Five or six hours. Well, sometimes the legs hurt, you know, and the back gives a little pain, but keep pushing. That is the big secret. Keep pushing. Oh, yes. Yes, you've been scheduled from 5 to 7. Okay, we'll see you mm -hmm. then. Bye-bye. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yeah, 5 to 7. Thank you. Yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yes. Ms. Marshall, yes, you have been accepted as a volunteer. Uh, yes, can you be available from uh, 8 to 10 tonight? She's lying on my bed. She tells me she, she wants to volunteer.
bedroom A. You go up those stairs, and you'll be paid there. Got it? Yes. Okay. Madam Research and Humanity, thank you, Miss Marshall. Come in, ladies. Come in. Uh, Rona Watkins and Diane Parmers. Okay. Uh, up those stairs. Bedroom B and bedroom C. Thank you. Good morning, Phantom Research. Hi. Hi. What do I do? You're the one who's liberated. Anything I want? That's what the experiment's all about. Well, why don't we start at the beginning? Okay. I'll start at your beginning, and you start at mine. Good idea. Oh, I'm glad I volunteered. Me too. Hurry. Hurry. That's a great foot you have there. Hurry. No matter how much I scream, don't stop. Do anything you want. Everything you want. Tear my bra and panties off. Oh, my goodness! Oh, what are you doing? I'm ripping your panties. Oh, please don't tear them. Oh, I'm afraid. No, please. Well, come on. <laughs> it's not easy to rip nylon. Why do I always get the tough one? An increasing in sexual potency every day. Yesterday had copulation with three females. Today had intercourse with four. No signs of fatigue or strain. Ate and slept well afterwards. Ah, Eileen, here you are. Two hours, forty dollars. Thank you. If you'll just sign these receipts over here. Mm -hmm. right over here. Can I volunteer again? Well, I'll have to check first with my associates, of course. <laughs> I was really far out. Yeah, doing it for science sure beats doing it for sex. <laughs> well, that's what this study is all about. You women know where it's at. I'm just trying to help us men get to it. Bodies with us. Keep breathing. I am, I am. I'm beginning to rise. So am I. I'm floating on the ceiling. Hey, great. I can hardly see us down there. Well, we're in bed. What are we doing? Uh, my body is taking the brassiere off your body. Well, is there anything I can do to stop? 
stop you? Uh, no, no, no. You stay up there on the ceiling. I'll take care of things. Have you got it on yet? Are you sure this is what you want? <sighs> Just the thought of it drives me crazy. Ever since I saw the movie, it's all I can think about. Ready. I'll make believe I'm sleeping, and then you come in. Okay. I'm sleeping. Won't unzip. Sit down. It's stuck. It's a curse. a virgin like everything no, no, no. I mean, what's it feel like well it's like driving a new car the ride's the same except that you know that no one's ever sat on the seat covers before new cars used cars classics dune buggies the limousines we ride them all <laughs> schmucks graduate smart guys copulate we made it <laughs> Paradise found. Paradise lost. The big tit gold mine's gonna close in about five months. And then it's back to playing four on one with Sylvia. What are you talking about? Bread, Ben, baby, bread. Hey, we received a grant, not a pension. 240 bucks a day for volunteers. That's over 1,800 a week. Rent on the old house, rent on this place. Food, printing costs, phone, furniture, laundry. There's like 2,000 bucks a week going out and just a bunch of horny ladies coming in. I knew it was too good to last. How can we ever go back to a normal life? It's like asking a heroin addict to start shooting ice cream. We still got five months left. We screw our brains out and then we kill ourselves. Why go for broke when we can go for a bundle? Like how? Give up screwing for security. No way. Suicide before celibacy. Well, not forever. We can stash enough away in a few months to keep this study going for years. I mean, how'd we get this grant? By using Professor Hegner's name. Right. America will buy bullshit. 
You just put it in an aerosol can and have John Wayne endorse it. I mean, that grant made phantom research socially acceptable. We've become part of the credibility crap. Hundreds and hundreds of available bodies at 50 bucks an hour. 20. The girls get 20. We keep the difference. Hey, yeah. The first sex study ever to show a profit. Wouldn't that make us pimps? Not pimps. Philosophers. Why does the farmer sell the milk? So he won't lose the cows. <laughs> Professor Sigmund Hegner and Phantom Research Corporation extend an invitation to selected business executives to participate in its comprehensive study of sex and the liberated college girl. Executives between 25 and 40, single and in good health. Participants will be asked to make a tax-deductible contribution, which will enable the study to fulfill its obligations. I just got an interesting call from my stockbroker about a sex study that's going on. I did, too. My broker says it might be worth looking into. Well, my broker is E.F. Hutton, and E.F. Hutton says... Thank you very much. Just fill out this questionnaire, which we'll feed into our computer, which in turn will match it to a female volunteer with similar sexual drives and fantasies. I have some pretty far-out fantasies. Well, maybe it's my Bible training, sir, but we like to think of this as a social Noah's Ark. Whatever you are, we'll find someone just like you. All right. You'll be scheduled a week in advance for two hours. There will be a tax-deductible contribution of $100. That seems fair. Uh, can I schedule myself for four hours? Have you ever been with a liberated college girl, sir? No. Well, you're almost 40. I wouldn't push my luck. They are a wild bunch, sir. Oh, oh yeah? yeah. your time in getting here. Uh-huh. Gentlemen, now this is a scientific study. It's not a street spectacle. We expect you to keep the peace and see that the men are not disturbed. Uh-huh. Phantom Research does not forget the men in blue who protect us. Season tickets to all the basketball games. Hey, that's great. And here, tell your wives to go buy a new dress. Could they buy a new dress every week? every week. Don't worry, fella. Anyone bothers you, we know how to handle it so it looks like a drug overdose. Beautiful. Spread the word at the station, okay, fellas? Right. Take care. I like him. He's not one of those long-haired freaks. You know, Reuben, kids like that make me feel the free enterprise system still has a chance. Mary Ann, can you and Elaine make it from 8 to 10? Yes, every night, Monday through Saturday. 8 to 10, Monday through Saturday. Thank you, Marcia. We've got 8 to 10 filled. Fill in 6 to 8. Mm -hmm. Ah, Miss Levinson, Phantom Research. Yes, can you uh, be available from 6 to 8, Monday through Saturday? <laughs> Henning with Grace Johnson, Thursday 6 to 8, Fred Gifford and Joanne Ryan, Friday 8 to 10. When you're rolling, you're just rolling along, and love is always by your side. Keep believing that you're
you're never alone and sail on sail on sail on Lord, keep us sailing along love is in your pocket don't you say i don't know don't you say i don't know loving is all around when you're found sailing along you don't need the ground you know when you know you know that you know whoa, 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 whoa. when you're rolling there's a breeze at your back there'll never be a storm ahead keep on rolling Things will never go wrong. And sail on, sail on, sail on, Lord, keep us sailing along. Sail on, Lord, keep us sailing along. Lillian Wexler. Room 52. Jean Hawthorne. Room 9. Melody Carson. Room 21. Anne Aberling. Room 7. Debbie Balford. Room 14. Wendy Hall. Lord, room 52. Room 9. Lord, Nat Brown. Ah, yes. Room 14. Thank you. You're a donation, sir. Oh, sorry. Have a good day, sir. Ah, Michael Rollins. Yes. Uh, room 19. Ah. Okay. Happy sailing, sir. Quickly, look, look. The eggs of the female are now immune to insecticide. Oh, you have labored loyally by my side, my little Anglo-Saxon ally. I am working you to death, but you will not die in vain. We shall have bred the immortal mosquito. You will also have made a lovely centipede. Nothing like a college girl. I wasted four years at a military academy. I'll never forgive my wife. What'd she do? I don't know, but she told me it was sex. Sexual stamina increasing can go from one female to another without losing erection. Oh, my God. Sex is becoming a compulsive obsession to crawl up behind every female and do it. Mad woman, who let you in here? I'm not looking, Professor. Crawl up behind me. Mm. Out, out, out.
I love you. I need you. Well, I got them all home. Appointments for tomorrow? All set. Cleaning people, laundry? Uh, they'll be here tomorrow morning. I'm Bush. Being a madam is no job for a man. Sure it is. Who makes the best cooks? Men. Who makes the best dress designers? Men. And the best female impersonators. And that would have to be my Aunt Molly. Six shifts, 40 girls a shift. That's $240, $100 contribution. That's 24 grand. 9600 for the girls, laundry, computer rental, mortgage payment, other expenses. We still keep like 12000 We clear $12,000 in one day? My dad doesn't think I can clear my throat in one day. Do you know what I've spent on you, you bum? You've cost me over 40 grand. You would have been cheaper being an abortion. 12 grand in one day. Do you know what that adds up to in a week? $72,000. Amazing. The Phantom Corporation is the first group who's ever turned a grant into a profit. Sorry that we had to ask you to open the bank on a Sunday. We know it's the Lord's Day. But that's a lot of money, and we know the Lord wouldn't want us to get mugged. Besides, Sunday is a day for saving. Sunday is a day for saving. That's very good. It might be wise to keep open on Sunday. I've got the slogan, Jesus Saves at 13 Colonies Bank. Jesus Saves at 13 Colonies Bank. That's very impressive. Uh, that makes Gibraltar and their rock look pretty shaky. Fine. You are clever young men. Would you be showing you donations like this every week? That's just the tip of the iceberg. The more volunteers we get, the more comprehensive and informative our study becomes. And the more volunteers, the more donations. You, you can open additional study centers. Yes, we're pretty cramped for space now. You can triple, quadruple your income. The potential is staggering. Gentlemen, has Phantom Research ever considered uh, taking in a partner? Making money is one thing. Investing it wisely is another. Only a banker knows where all the skeletons are. What kind of skeletons? The financial jungle is a graveyard filled with the bones of the innocent, the naive. The little man who puts his money into the bank. We pay him 5% and charge him 12% to borrow it back. Depressions, recessions, Bankruptcies, foreclosures, uh, they aren't accidental. It keeps the little man little. Exactly. If everyone were wealthy, money would be worth little. You four are about to become wealthy. As your partners, we will want to protect you. Otherwise, you might want to take it from us. It's kill or be all survival of the planet to pay you $500,000 for a 49% interest in the Phantom Corporation. A 49% interest, that means we'd still control it. Before you decide, I want you to meet our board of directors, men who can be extremely helpful. Judge Van Der Wey, eh? Commissioner Thompson, eh? Bishop J.R. Eckworth, eh? and That's something to think about. A banker, a bishop, a judge, and a commissioner will be part of Phantom Research. What happens to us happens to them. Their safety in numbers. That's a very serious consideration. Oh, Lord, guide us. Shall 13 Colonies Bank become partners in a scientific study about sex? We always look for divine guidance on our business venture. It's netting 72,000 a week and growing. Vast revenues flow into our coffers. The contributions. Generous offerings will be made to you. We're a Christian company. The Phantom Corporation is made up of good Christians. Uh, except for Ben, who's Jewish. Except for Ben, the Jew. Why well, may convert. The Jew wants to be saved, Lord. Yes, Lord, I'm listening. Thy will be done. 
The Lord said, save the Jew and he will bless the merger. We'd like to open another uh, study center immediately. Splendid. Find the right location and I'll arrange the purchase. I'll provide the legal advice. I'll see that the police assist you in every way. And I will pray for your success, my boy. Uh, don't you feel so much better now? I think I'll change my name from Adler to Montgomery. Praise God! Praise God! Yes, what we really need is some hired help. People to drive buses, to take the phone calls, arrange the visits, and collect the money. Give us time to devote our energies to growth. Oh, why can't you hire people? Oh, this is a very personal, sensitive study. It's difficult to find people whom you can trust, to be honest, to be discreet. People who are trustworthy, discreet, dedicated. Exactly. I happen to have a friend in the same line of work who just might be able to help us. When you're rolling, you're just rolling along, and love is always by your side. Keep believing that you're never alone. And say Bless this phantom house unit number two. Let it and all connected with it prosper in knowledge and wealth. Amen. 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 Smile down upon your humble servants who merely seek ways to improve the daily lives of our fellow man. <laughs> Sister Elvira speaking. Yes, I gave them copies of both news weeklies. Thank you for calling. Have a heavenly day. I told you, America will buy bullshit. Just put it in a giant economy box and say, Steve McQueen eats it. <laughs> hey, the Professor Hagen Phantom Corporation study promises to surpass the Kinsey Report and Masters and Johnson. <laughs> We've become legitimate. Why not? I mean, what's the sex study about? Sex. Right. Who likes what, where, when, and how? <laughs> Facts and figures, names and addresses. Isn't that what we're doing? My God. We may end up getting the Nobel Prize for running the world's biggest cat house. <laughs>
Mr. Blyfer has authorized me to tell you that Blyfer's Pharmaceuticals would like to buy into Phantom Research. You'll receive 500,000 shares of Blyfer stock, which is selling at $20 a share. That's $10 million. Ten? <coughs> yeah, that's a fair offer. What did he say? What did he say? He said it seems like a fair offer. I got fair. This is business. Business. But uh, business is also based on trust. What did he say? What did he say? He said business is based on trust, not trust. Stop it. Stop it. At the conclusion of the study, uh, the Phantom Corporation will recommend that women use Blyfer pills, jellies, and sanitary napkins. What did he say? What did he say? He said they will recommend women use our sanitary napkins. Yes, yes. Keep America clean. Also, Blyfer soap, shampoos, perfumes, powders, vitamins. We produce over 100 bedroom and bathroom products. If a prestigious sex study group like yours recommends our products, women will buy them. Out of fear and insecurity. What do you say? What do you say? He said they will buy our products out of fear and insecurity. Yes, fear, insecurity. Hit them where they live. Gentlemen, we uh, accept your offer. What do you say? What do you say? They accept our offer. We're number one. We're number one. We're rich, incredibly, spectacularly rich. And it all came from two people falling. <laughs> it's made me believe in Adam and Eve. Hello, Dad. This is your non-aborted son. Uh, the fetus that made good? Oh, stop that crap, Dad. We're not the same flesh and blood. I've had a total skin graft and a complete transfusion. I have a check made out to you for uh, $40,000. And what you said I owed you? Your schmuck son is paying you back for every meal, every piece of clothes, every night's lodging you ever gave me. $40,000 goes out to you in the mail today. All you have to say is, Ben, as a father, I was an ignorant, unloving asshole. I'm waiting. The check is in the mail. Come on, come. You have not lived in vain, my little North American native. We are triumphant. Behold, the ultimate insect. I shall call him the Arnold Frobisher mosquito. A million years from today, Wherever mosquitoes gather, Arnold Frobisher will not be forgotten. That is good news, Knight. And tomorrow, we shall tell humanity we have replaced it. No. Don't tell. Bred the immortal insect. The Arnold Frobisher mosquito. He's gonna tell the world. He can't tell the world he was breeding mosquitoes. He told the world he was breeding college girls. Speak a little louder, Arnold. Tell Sylvia. Sex makes animals out of men. If I've been if I've been rough on her, I'm sorry. Woman, what do you want? What do I want? Stop torturing me. Take me. As you were. Stop teasing me. Close the coat. You'll catch a cold in the boobies. I know. You want me to beg. All right. I'm begging. Begging for what? For sex, 
professor for sex. You are begging from a poor man. Hardly. A pity. Mother Virgin. Please. Please. Make a woman out of me. Turn me into a... a whimpering rag doll. I am 72 in August. It is Professor Hagner who is a rag doll. You're cruel, sadistic, but I need you. I want you. I love you. I want to marry you. Marriage? You'll go to Las Vegas. I've read your diary, Professor. You have the strength of, of ten men when it comes to your, your sex experiment. My strength, I say, for science. Save a, a little for me. I'll clean for you. I'll cook for you. Cook? Meat dumplings and tables? Sauerbraten and pancakes? Oh, yes. <laughs> Marriage. Hmm. Don't you realize? All our money. All our investments. Everything. It's built on screwing. Prostitution! The corporation is the biggest whorehouse in the world. Steve, we really appreciate you sharing this information. With Honestly, Phil, see how it makes any difference. How it makes any difference? What are you all crazy? crazy? We sell ass. We're illegal. There are millions at stake here. We've broken the law. What is the law? Smart laws made to protect us. And they will protect you. The law doesn't say you have to confess. What started as a youthful indiscretion has become an industry. We've all made our mistakes. When I was your age, I sold hoodling whiskey. I forged papers. I took bribes. I swindled $50,000 from the church fund. I did dozen. I raped. I lynched a man. I slept with the deacon's wife. We're all human. It's not what we've done, it's what we do. It's not what we've been, it's what we are. It is never too late. Fine God. The corporation is too big to fall. But when Professor Hagner tells the press, we're through. He'll never tell the press. We will continue the study in his name. In his name? Murder? What'd you say? What'd you say? They're going to commit murder. To save the corporation. To save the corporation. Yes. Save the corporation. Kill, kill. Murder the professor. I get sick of the thought. What do you say? What do you say? The thought of killing makes him sick. Ah! Sissy, sissy, pee in bed. Friends, are you with us or against us? Commissioner, Commissioner, you're a police officer. You're sworn to uphold law and order. There are times when the only way to protect the law is to break it. Your Honor, murder? If criminals can kill, why can't we? At least we're doing it for a noble purpose. It's unconscionable. We are merely killing the goose to protect the golden egg. <laughs> and what have we lost? A silly old goose. You're taking a life, breaking a commandment. I don't deal in bodies. I deal in the spirit. And his immortal soul will go on forever, so we're not really hurting him. Gentlemen. I think we have a decision to make about this partnership. With the powers granted me by the state of Nevada, I pronounce you man and wife.
It's a heavy-duty magnet. It will lift them 150 feet in the air and drop them into the lake. What do you say? What do you say? They're going to drop them 150 feet. Yes. Less partners. Less partners. <laughs> Maybe they'll open the door and tell us it's all been a big joke. The establishment has never been known for big jokes. Commissioner, Commissioner, it's for you. Yeah. What do you mean the professor wasn't in the house? What kind of a bomb squad are you? I expect goof ups out of second rate thugs, but you're police academy trained. Professor, time for bed, nine. I'm an atheist who believes in God. Arnold, where is he? Just take some oxygen and try to talk. Where is he, Arnold? Las Vegas. Vegas, hey, we're not far from there. My laboratories, my mosquitoes, my notes, all gone. Blown up, burned. It will take me years and years to do it again. There's no use calling a press conference. You have nothing to tell them. Everything's been lost. <sighs> my lack of faith in the human race is my salvation. Tough, idiot human race. The people starve. The king is fed. The armies are crushed. 
The general lives. The city is destroyed. The rich escape. I have lost everything but the victory. They have destroyed my questions. But I have saved the answer. The Arnold Frobisher mosquito, the immortal insect. The successor to cro magnon man and i magnon woman. Something told me inside he is in danger. Take him with you. He is sedated. He will not fly away. I shall show him to the world, and then I shall free you. You can't free him. You'll breathe. There'll, there'll be trillions like him. Immune to everything. They actually will take over the world. Mm -hmm. Room service. Oh. Who would you like to see around the world? Him? Evolution. From ape to this, we are going backwards. Can we trust the universe with what is going on in his mind? Come, my simple two-legged cousin. How would you like to see the greatest scientific creation of all time? Gee, I'd love to. Where is it? Hit the button. It will erase everything. Hit it! No names and addresses, no details, no records. The sex study is over. Why? If we put the orgasm on tape, eventually we'll feed the entire man into the machine. There'll be nothing left of the human race but a recording. We proved our point that you can make a bundle selling ass. We have products to endorse. Uh-uh. We endorse no vaginal deodorants, no bedroom blackmail. Nature smells good. It's the corporate profits that stink. We'll give the Blyfer company their stock back. Yeah, but Mr. Blyfer's death drove the stock down from 20 to nine and a half. If we go out of business, we'll owe the millions. We'll sell our holdings and pay them off. Then we graduate. Graduate? graduate. <laughs> Life doesn't scare me anymore. We'll be busted. We'll have like 50 grand apiece. After being millionaires, that's like being broke. Shh, Buck. Broke is being dead. Rich is being alive. We're alive so short, dead so long. We don't know what happens in the long. Don't let the world frighten you. There's nothing to fear but the end. You only need enough money for one lifetime. Don't overeat, overkill, or oversave. You only have one life to give. Give it to no country, no community, no cause. Give it only to yourself. Don't run from success. Don't hide from failure. It's not if you win or lose, but if you enjoy playing the game. He enjoyed the game. Farewell, Sylvia, mistress of our youth, memory of our old age. so drastic. There are other wounds to conquer. In life, you profit by others' mistakes. When the banker died, he made a mistake, and we're going to profit by it. Do you realize how many beautiful, wealthy widows there are who would pay anything for the companionship of young, virile college graduates? Like who? Like the banker's wife. The banker's wife?
must be at least 20 or 30 years of postgraduate work in this field alone. When you're rolling, you're just rolling along, and love is always by your side. You keep believing that you're never alone. And say along, say along, say along, keep us sailing along. When you're moving, you're just moving along, the feeling is a high so fast. Keep revealing, it's on top you belong. Sail on, sail on, sail along, keep us sailing along. Lovers in your pocket, don't you say I don't know. Don't you say I don't know. Loving is all around when you're found. Sailing along, you don't need. You know when you know, you know that you know. Whoa, 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 whoa. When you're rolling, there's a breeze at your back. There'll never be a storm ahead. Keep on rolling, things will never go wrong. Say along, say breeze at your back, there'll never be a storm ahead. Keep on rolling, things will never go wrong. Sail along, sail along, sail along, keep it sailing along. Lord, keep us sailing along.